Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it was recently announced uh, that Cinema Saver in Endicott is going to be closing at the end of July. Uh, apparently, according to a post that the owners made uh, after the pandemic, it just wasn't financially viable anymore. Uh, and things are, you know, obviously going to streaming services a lot faster uh, these days than they were in the past. So uh, let's take a look around the building and maybe I'll even go inside and uh, see if I can get a little video for you guys of the lobby for those who are nostalgic. Before we get started, give the video a thumbs up, shout out to the Patreon supporters, and click that subscribe button down below. It really helps me and the channel out. Appreciate it. taking a look here. Here's the outside of the building. Now, a couple of years ago, they did expand the lobby and build this little hut thing onto it. Uh, so that was kind of cool. It made it a little bit nicer in the entryway in general. And uh, yeah, the outside though, for the most part, uh, cosmetically hasn't changed since I was a kid, uh, other than this new entrance and some paint. I think they did recently add those portrait paintings there. So that's kind of cool. I'll take you guys around back and kind of show you what the back of the building looks like too, because there's a really nice mural down there. Endicott History and Heritage Center. I don't remember that being there. I think that's new. little uh, covered bridge here. I don't think I've ever gone under this in a car, although I could be wrong. So coming around back, here's the other side of the parking lot. And yeah, here's this uh, really cool mural that was added to the building pretty recently. See in the last couple of years. Oh, right, right there. It says the date. You zoom in on it for you guys. 2021. So yeah, a couple of years ago. But yeah, the it's a shame that, um, you know, this place can't continue as a local affordable cinema. And I think one article I read on it even said that it's going to be converted into housing. I'm not sure what form that'll take, uh, but you know, there were some people trying to save it and turn it into a community uh, art center or uh, like a performance art type of place. I'll put the right, I'll put the right information on the screen for you guys. But yeah, kind of sad. You know, I really like this place as a, you know, if you don't feel like spending a million dollars going to a regular movie theater, this this was good. Or if there was a title that you weren't sure you were going to like, you could wait for it to come out here at the Cinema Saver and save you a lot of money. It was just, it was fantastic. So we're going up to the second floor now. I'm terrified of old elevators, so I dare not ride that. Theater number one over here. Old uh, film room here. I think they used to host like birthday parties up here too. Yeah, party room number two. Ah, that old E.T. poster is pretty cool. I 
guess this is just the rest of the hall up here. There's a bathroom. Let's see if we can peek into one of the theaters. Got my slush puppy, so I'm all charged up. Forgot down here they had the soda machine, theater three. 